All right, it's your boy. Y'all see me? Y'all see the book? Y'all know it's time to uh, sit back and have a moment with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what time it is. So we finna get right to it. So, you know, I'm at church today doing my thing, praise and worship, you know, in his name, you know, in his name, in his name. You know, that's what we do. We get out. So while I'm sitting there and the pastor and his wife, they actually apologizing for the things that they should have been doing. And the whole time they're ministering and, 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 and admonishing what where their flaws are, which you don't see happening all the time. You don't see it all the time. You'll hear the pastor and the shepherds of the flock telling you that they're, you know, they, they disclose their flaw, but letting you know that they're still flawed, that they still make mistakes, that their, some of their habits aren't correct. And that gave me this for God. Gave me a time. The whole time he said, that's what you call moments of thank you. And I'm like, what you mean? He said, well, you got to be thankful that they took that moment to share with y'all where they were making mistakes. He said, like, they'll give somebody, like they said, they will give you a, a, a directive or things to do. Yet, if you didn't do it the way according to what they wanted, they may rush and try to do it on their own. The whole time was, I can give you a directive, but I also need to guide you and show you how to do it correctly. See, I can't just give it to you and then I get mad because you're not doing it my way. But what it was is that moment of transparency. So God said, that's a moment to thank you. He says that's a moment of them showing me things because they're willing to listen to what I was telling them. They opened up their ears and their spirit to take heed to what God was telling them. So he said, have you had moments of thank you? And I had to stop for a minute like, yeah, I actually have. I'd be at work and I've had moments where somebody gets a cure and it mashana, not just mashana, we're like, ooh, thank you, Jesus. And there's nothing specific that happened, nothing grandiose to happen. I didn't get no huge tip or anything like that. He just said, thank him anyway. Let's see what he was telling me. In those moments of thank you, he's preparing you for what he's about to give you. See, in those moments of thank you, you're admonishing that you're leaving it in his hands. Because like when she did the display, oh my goodness. See, y'all had to be at church. Y'all need to come check check us out. You know what I'm saying? The greater, I'm just keep, the greater belt, I'm just keeping one. When she took each of those bags and put it inside the other bag of uh, totes of luggage, to show you that how we take one thing and put it on top of another, top of another thing. Well, we're not letting go of stuff. We steady just carrying all this baggage. And God like, let me take that from you. But every time he takes something, the thing is, do we take that moment and say, thank you? Oh, y'all were, y'all were, I, listen, I know y'all wasn't ready for that one. Because I'm like, shut up, what you just say? He said, I said, when he starts taking it from you, my guy, do you take that moment to say thank you? So, and when you get these moments, because we're going to call them moments of thanks. When you get those moments of thanks, just let it go. I don't care who I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. Just, just, it, I mean, if you just do it in your shot, now, just, they don't know what you're talking about. Just, you know, you can, you can do a moment shot, a quiet shot. And I'm like, in the side, it's like, a, it's going crazy. But you got to have the moments of thank you. And I'm telling you, it's in those moments that you'll start to release things that you were holding on to and not being complacent and getting to the things of God. It's in those moments that you'll start to trust and believe that his path is correct. Like when the pastor told me, God said, leap. And now that I'm moving in that direction, I took the leap anyway. And things are starting to come to fruition. I'm telling y'all, you just got to move sometimes, but you got to say thank you during the move. Like just because the storm is there don't mean the storm has you. Oh, yeah, well, that's something that we're going to talk about. That. Y'all ain't ready for that. But right now, I want y'all to really sit back and look at your life. And don't look at all the moments you have to thank for, thank for four. Look for all the moments you didn't say thank you. Even though there's nothing there, nothing transpired, nothing happened, you still need to be like, thank you. So it's your boy. It's your boy. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know, listen, go down there. Get you a copy this here. This here, this is his work. He gave it to me. I'll give it to y'all. It's a bless y'all. So think about it always. Let that sink in. It's your boy. Till next time. Peace.